Hey, what's up, family? How are you doing, man? I hope as you're watching this video that you're happy, healthy, blessed, that you're achieving every financial goal that you've ever wanted and you're getting one step closer to where you want to be in this life. Before I go any farther in this next segment of Philip Blackman Presents, I want to first off thank the outpouring support that I've received uh, from posting that video about Kobe Bryant versus the death of American service members. Never in a million years would I think that, you know, uh, a small Southeast Texas town boy his opinion would matter uh, that so many people would feel so compelled to reach out and throw this positivity our way uh, sending private messages we've received like over what 30,000 shares and uh, 600 comments and you know me and my wife have worked tirelessly to try to commit to comment to each one of you guys to let you know how much we appreciate you um, the outpouring support man it's it, seriously guys it's lifted me up and I, and I just kind of want to let you guys know man you know the the, the small moments that you took to take out of your day, to send a perfect stranger friend request, a private message, a comment, whatever it was, man, it's lifted me up. It's lifted me up as a person. And I think what I'm trying to, the purpose of this episode of Philip Blackman Presents is that, you know, what we say, although it may mean something so small to people in this world, you know, it may be nothing to you, but it means every, it can mean, it can be the difference maker, it can be the, the, the deciding factor in how people feel. And I'm gonna tell you, it was an unintended consequence when I posted that video, just how, just the, just how much it would change my life, and how how much confidence has given me to let me know that there's people out there that that, that are like-minded, that that think like I do. And for those of you supporters out there, man, thank you so much for lifting me and my wife up. Um, we're very thankful for you, and and thank you so much. Point number two my haters i love you guys man y'all have met but you know you guys coming out there with your veiled insults rapping all this hate and all this all this anger man golly i just it's like your words jumped off the page and if you could throw a fist through my screen you would have all i did man is just a rope and dope man i just ducked all that negativity i took everything you had i showered you back with positivity i showered you back with thoughts and and and, and uplifted you although you were trying to knock me down guys something you don't know about me i'm a man who makes no my vitamin i love hate i love negativity because i take it and i split that stuff around some of you guys are so damn negative you could walk into a dark room and develop but i love you for it thank you for lifting me up you guys need to understand something i'm not going anywhere whether you like me love me hate me or wish my heartbeat stopped right now i don't care it's not going to happen my life is in the God's hands. The Lord Almighty lifts me up each and every day. The perspective that I want to talk about, the perception, you know, look, the problem that I'm seeing right now is we got a lot of folks out there with lots of opinions. As a matter of fact, I'm just, I'm one of those same people. I'm just another dude with an opinion. Crazy enough, a lot of you folks out there support and you, and you have the same opinion. And thank you for reaching out. Thank you for following me, man. I love it. Um, and look, if you disagree with me, here's the, here's the thing, guys. You got two options when you disagree with anything in this world. Either keep scrolling by and, for, and forget that it even existed, or you can engage. But here's the deal. When you engage, man, engage, come back with something more factual. You know, a lot of you folks out there were talking about, well, what about the other people on the plane or, or the helicopter? Excuse me. What about the other people in the helicopter? Their lives matter just as much as Kobe's. Absolutely. That, you are absolutely right. But at the time, when I posted that video, the names were not known. And it's truly unfortunate that anybody had to, had to lose their life, uh, especially so young. I mean, nobody likes death, and death affects us all. And I think that's where some of you probably missed the point. You know, we're not saying that veterans' lives don't matter, or Kobe's life does matter. We're not saying any of that, guys. Death affects everybody. You know, whatever happens in our life, man, we just got to, you know, you know, it's going to happen. We're going to have these negative aspects that hit us right in the teeth. And what happens, what matters is how you respond. How do you respond to adversity? Do you, do you get all upset? Do you get all mad? Do you, do you shake your fist at the heavens and demand explanation? Or do you try to find the positivity in the message? You know, it's something I think where we where we're com becoming disconnected as as, as as a society is we're not letting people have their own opinion, and if we disagree with their opinion, now mind you, an opinion is their opinion. Just like I told you earlier, man, you can't tell people who their heroes are. You can't tell people that you know that they can't have an opinion. They can't have a thought. 
And if you disagree with that opinion, come at it with, this is why I disagree with you, and here it is. Let's have a discussion. But no, we don't want to have a discussion. What we'd rather do is throw, is call names and you know, and give suggestions that you're stupid, you're a moron. And some guy say that I should, uh, somebody should put knots on my head. Hey, buddy, I'm in Beaumont, Texas. If you feel like coming down, I'll give you my address. Just shoot me a message, and I'll, I'll, I'll give you every opportunity you want to put knots on my head. But hey, man, I love it, man. Because look, bottom line, whatever happens in your life, you know, if you follow boxing. You know, when you're in that corner and, and life is just throwing uppercut after uppercut and, and hitting you with one thing after another. I mean, I, I know I've said it a lot and, you know, hell, probably some of you said it, man. What else can happen? Look, man, just weather the storm. You know, like I said, like a boxer, put them dukes up and just rope and dope the hell out of it, man. Just, just, just duck it because you've already won at life because you woke up today with your head toward the clouds and your feet toward the ground. You've already won. You can't start today and change how it began, but you can start today and change how it ends. Whatever happens in this life is gonna happen. But man, change your perspective, you're gonna change your life. Look, I get down too, I, I'll admit it. I'm not perfect, I have my moments where I get down in the mouth. But at the end of the day, guys, how do we respond? How are you gonna respond when negativity happens? How do you respond when you're when you're dealing with, with bills or a bad job or, whatever man your life is yours you take control and you take responsibility now just because you disagree with the way somebody else is doing what they're doing man let them do them you do you if you spent as much time minding everybody else's business as you could spend minding your own you might be surprised what your life can do some of you guys with all that hate and all that negativity and wanting to tell folks how they feel and getting so passionate about stuff that you refuse to take action to control if you took all that negativity that you carry in your heart and you put it into something good who knows you might be the person to i don't know make make the next greatest invention or cure a disease i mean good lord how much negativity do you have to have in your life to want to try to bring everybody down I appreciate you haters, man. I love you all. I appreciate everyone out there that 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 has that is that has an opinion. I, we all have one, and it's okay to have one. It's okay to disagree. But guys, lift each other up, man. The media is going to tell you every way that we need to be knocking each other down, either by racial divide, by by religion, by creed, a sexual orientation, all of that, man. That's all stupid garbage. Get that stuff out of your vocabulary. It's not worth it. How much stuff can you fit in your rucksack of emotions? How much stuff can you put in your emotional cup? You only got so much room in your life for positivity or negativity. And it's up to you as a person to define what you're willing to carry in your life. Carry it and carry it well. But make that decision because your perspective, your perception, what you decide to carry and what you decide to project, that right there, folks, is what's going to determine what kind of person you are, what kind of person you're going to be, and what kind of people you're going to influence. Guys, I'm starting, I'm expanding out to YouTube and Twitter, PDB Presents at Twitter, uh, Philip D. Blackman Presents on my business uh, Facebook page. And of course, right here, uh, Phil O'Dew Blackman presents on YouTube. Man, hit that dig on subscribe button down there. Hit that like button. Leave me your comment. Tell me how much you disagree with me. Throw me all the hate you want, man. Feed me more. Yo, Lo Zeke, man, feed me more. Give me everything you got. I love it because you're good, you're bad, or you're indifferent. Just makes me a better man, and it lifts me up because I walk with the Lord each and every day. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I pray that you stay blessed. And man, let's make this America a better America by coming together and being the race that we're supposed to be, the American race. Let's love each other. Race, religion, creed don't matter. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.